What's up guys, I'm Dakota Freeman and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude Dirt Biking Channel. Today I want to teach you how to get faster off your motorcycle to where when you ride your dirt bike you're going to be able to ride for a much longer period of time and you're going to be much faster when you do it. If this video helps you out, make sure you drop some comments down below. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have. Hit that subscribe button and like this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a lot of different things we can do off the motorcycle to be faster when we're riding our dirt bikes. A lot of this is going to come down to the foods that we eat, the type of physicality that you're in. If you're working out and have good endurance off the bike, whenever you get on your dirt bike, you're going to be able to race for the entire amount of time and you're not going to feel so fatigued. This is going to be very important because when you're riding and you get fatigued like this, you're going to be slowing down and riding at a much slower pace. So a lot of these different things are going to help you out to where when you get back on your dirt bike, you're going to ride for a longer period of time and be much faster when you're doing it. So whenever I'm off the dirt bike or if I'm injured or something like that's going on, this is not the time that you want to sit back and just wait for your injury to heal itself. No matter what you can do to get stronger off the bike, even when you're hurt, it's going to help you so much better when you're coming back from that injury. So some of the things that I like to do whenever I'm off the bike that's going to keep me in a much better shape to be able to be faster when I'm riding is going to be going for runs, getting outside, and going for hikes, and stuff like this. This is because whenever you're staying in motion and you're hiking or running, this is really going to impact your cardio health. So getting your cardio health to where you're at a much higher level means that whenever you're riding, your endurance is going to be at a much higher level. So you can ride for longer periods of time without feeling the fatigue on your body. This is a huge deal because when you're riding and just say you're out of shape or you're coming back from an injury, you're going to feel it a lot more than if you were working out and staying at your top health level. So whenever you're going for runs and hiking or working out off the bike this is really going to make you a better rider on the bike i'm not somebody that can really sit in a gym and pump weights and work out so i find that the best way for myself to stay in a better condition is going to be going outside um, i love hiking because you can go to some beautiful places and hike for miles and honestly not even realize how far or fast you're going it just helps me stay at a better fitness level. If I got into a gym, I just kind of get stagnant, doing the same thing over and over, and it, I'm just not the type of person that can go inside and do that kind of thing. It's awesome if you can, and I totally think that that's a good way to build muscle and strength, but for me, I just really like being outside, so at that point, I'm gonna go outside, go for hikes, and get stronger that way. And the reason this matters so much is whenever you're on your dirt bike, you're really going to be focused on your riding, you know, your fundamentals and stuff like that. It's also a great workout and it works the right muscles because this is what you're using when you're riding. But to build strength, cardio, endurance, it really has to be done off the motorcycle. So if you get out and really start running, you know, logging your miles and keeping track with it, you're going to see yourself improve. And that's what really motivates me to keep at it. The more and more I work out and get in a better condition and better shape and then get back on the bike, now I can ride for longer periods of time. I can actually ride faster and you don't get as like sore and tired as you're riding. This is a big deal because if you're riding these hard trails or if you're on the motocross track and you're hitting these bumps and your rocks and going over logs, your body's taking a lot of abuse. And the stronger that you are, the more that you can take these obstacles and not get arm pump or sore in your arms. Um, sometimes like it's even hard to hold on to the grips because you're just gripping all the time and it's just going to be much harder on your body. So getting stronger off the bike is going to help you out a lot. Another good thing about getting stronger and getting your body in a better shape to go ride is it's also going to keep you safer. The more strength you have, the more muscle you have on your body, when you fall and take those hits, you have all that muscle protecting your body. So at that point, you're not as weak and it's not as easy to break these bones because you have a little bit of protection surrounding them and the muscles are really going to help keep you that much safer. As always though, just doing like running and 
working on your body isn't the only thing you need to do. This kind of comes second to the fundamentals of riding your dirt bike. And once you've mastered those fundamentals, I think that your strength training is really going to help you go to the next level. But also with your strength training, you really need to take your food intake a lot more seriously. No matter what, if you're out there eating junk and putting crap in your body, it's all going to come back to you and you're going to have a much harder time when you're working out or riding your dirt bike. So treat the food that you put into your body like fuel and you don't want to put some low octane fuel in your body. You really want to focus on eating good. So eating fruits, vegetables, you know, high nutritious food is really going to help you whenever you're doing the strength training because you're not just going to be working out and running and getting tired. The food is really what drives your body to reheal itself and get stronger after big workouts and big dirt bike rides. So all these different things are really going to impact how fast your body recovers from a ride or a workout. It's also going to impact how fast your muscles are going to be able to grow and get back into being able to ride again at the level that you want to ride. So make sure whenever you're out riding you're eating well, eating healthy, and you won't even believe what a difference this will make on your body. So, as I said, one of my favorite things to do whenever I'm out trying to get stronger and get in better health conditions for riding is gonna be going for runs, going for hikes. Um, I also really like to do push-ups because that's gonna build your upper body a little bit without being too strenuous on your muscles. It's not about how much weight you're really using, it's all about just repetition and continually doing this time after time again and just seeing your body getting stronger and then sit-ups and any kind of like core exercise that you can do to get your core as strong as possible is going to be so important when riding your dirt bike the reason I say this is because no matter what you're doing on your bike your core is really the strength behind holding on to the dirt bike being able to stand up coming out of corners going through rough spots on tracks or trails, everything is gonna kind of be impacted by your core. Whenever you start to take this seriously and you're getting stronger, you're actually gonna feel a difference on your motorcycle and it's gonna make a huge impact to your riding. Not leaving anything out, running, you know, squats, lunges, anything like that that you can do to make your legs stronger is also going to make you a much better rider. Your lower body is going to be super important to have strong whenever you're riding your dirt bike. As you come out of corners, as you're standing going through rough sections on trails, your legs are going to be really used all the time. From sitting down, standing up, going back into a corner, sitting back down, going through long whoop sections, riding over rough rocky terrain like all these different things you need to be standing while you're doing them so the bike's movement isn't directly impacting you so this is really going to help you be a better rider simply just by being stronger so make sure whenever you are doing your strength training you eat healthy and really take endurance seriously because on a dirt bike especially with me i'm riding you know four or five hours a day like you're on the bike for long periods of time you're going through really rough and rocky terrain and at that point your endurance needs to be at almost the highest level than anything else big muscles don't really matter at this point but the longevity that you can use them and ride without getting tired and fatigued because once you start to get tired on your motorcycle this is really when it's going to impact your riding you're gonna to start to not really think about what you're doing because you're tired, and this is when you're gonna get hurt. So being stronger, having more endurance, and having more control over your body, especially when riding, is just gonna make you safer and a much better rider. So always be improving on your body, improving on your health, and this will really make you a much faster dirt bike rider because whenever you get to the track or out on the trails, once you get tired, no matter what, you're going to start slowing down. And if you can ride for longer periods of time without getting tired, this is going to make you so much better. And you're going to be able to ride for a much longer period of time, much faster. So once you're really wanting to go faster on your dirt bike and go for longer periods of time, you really need to take this part of your exercise much more seriously. 
what you do off the bike really impacts what you can do on the bike and especially when racing or ri trail riding it's going to keep you a safer rider the stronger that you are the longer you can ride for without feeling the fatigue on your muscles and this is going to make you so much safer you can then go faster for longer periods of time and it's really going to impact your riding now that you're really taking this seriously, you really need to make sure that you're eating foods that are going to recharge your body, re-energize it, and make it to where you can get right back on the bike as fast as possible. If this helped you out, make sure you guys drop some comments down below. Feel free to ask me any questions you guys have. Hit that subscribe button and always like this video. I'm Dakota Freeman and I will see you guys in that next video. Make sure you guys click right here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future content. After that, you can watch my next video right here. I'll see you guys over there.